Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to IDB. Today we're talking about iOS 16 developer beta 7. So today Apple has released a new developer beta. However, there is no public beta today. However, by the time you are watching this video, there very well could be a new public beta out. So we're on developer beta 7 and the public beta is going to be beta 5. And most likely as with all previous releases, it is going to be the exact same build as the developer beta. So as we can see here on developer beta 7, the build number ends in A. And if you are familiar with iOS betas, and if you watched my last video on developer beta 6, you know that as Apple works their way up the beta cycle, uh, they work their way up the alphabet as well. So the previous beta 6 ended in B, and now we are at A. So this very well could be the last developer beta we see of iOS 16. And it really would make sense because iOS 16 is getting very, very stable at this point. So if you were on the edge of installing iOS iOS 16 beta, if you want to wait for it to be very stable, I'd say there's no better time than now. We're honestly getting so close to a public release that if you just wanted to install it a little bit early on your device, I would say that these very late betas are going to be very stable for you. So we're getting to the point now in iOS 16 betas where Apple is not going to be making any changes at all. I did notice a slight change in the animation for the lock screen music player. So if I jump into music and I start playing a song and I go to my lock screen, uh, this is the all new uh, full screen player on iOS 16. And I noticed that the animation is a little bit better. Uh, previously on beta 6 and other builds before that, uh, when you would click on the album art, it would kind of jump around and be a little bit choppy. But here, as you can see on beta 7, it looks really fluid and the uh, animation for the lock screen player is overall a lot better. And another important thing to mention with this release has to do with the iPad and iPad OS. So with the new beta update for the iPad, Apple has actually made it iPad OS 16.1. So this is important to know because Apple has actually delayed the release of iPad OS 16. So when iOS 16 comes out in September, we're not going to have an update for the iPad as iPad OS has been delayed for some unknown reason. Uh, my guess is stage manager, uh, the all new windowing feature. If you missed our video on that, that. I'll have it linked on the top right right here. Uh, however, when I use Stage Manager, it doesn't feel like it's completely fluid and ironed out. So I guess Apple needs a little bit more time. But uh, if you are waiting to install iPad OS, it's not going to be coming out at the same time as iOS 16. So just after using iOS 16 developer beta 7 for a little bit, I have noticed a few things. So when I'm in Safari, I noticed that it is a lot snappier. And I also noticed some people on Reddit uh, notice this as well. So whenever I'm refreshing a website or if I have a bunch of tabs open, uh, Safari just feels a lot faster. And one other small thing I noticed is I had some issues on the previous beta launching the camera from the lock screen. And it seems like Apple has ironed out a bunch of those bugs. So whenever I launch the camera by swiping on the lock screen, it goes right to the camera a lot faster as you can see here. So another thing to note, if I jump here into Twitter, a Apple insider, Mark Gurman, has mentioned that iOS 16 development is completely finished. And that would make sense because the iPhone 14 event is getting really close here. It's going to be happening in the first half of September. So Apple wants to have iOS 16 completely finished and ready for the next iPhone. And according to Mark Gurman, iOS 16 is completely finished. And I guess internally they're working on iOS 16.1. And we should be seeing 16.1 beta as soon as iOS 16 comes out to the public. And staying on Twitter here, you can see on the homepage, it looks like iOS 16 is actually trending under technology. So it looks like people are getting really excited for iOS 16. And I have mentioned this in a previous video, but I have a feeling as soon as iOS 16 is out to the public, uh, Twitter and all of social media is going to be flooded with people uh, sharing their lock screen setups in iOS 16 because people love to customize their iPhones. So that's going to do it for iOS 16 developer beta 7 and public beta 5. Uh, using it here for about half a day on my iPhone. Phone, I can say it feels very, very stable. So if you were at all worried about the stability of installing a beta, I can say that this late into the beta cycle, uh, you're going to be extremely fine installing iOS 16 beta on your iPhone. Uh, the iPad, on the other hand, may not be as safe. But if you want to install the beta on your phone, I would say it definitely is stable enough now. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you are most excited for in iOS 16. And also tell me down below if you have the beta installed on your phone or if you're going to wait for the public release from Apple. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you found it informative or helpful. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you next time.